Here we'll create a form to capture new email leads. In your Monic dashboard, hit Components and then Forms, and then Add New. We're going to select a new campaign form and name it Newsletter Signup. In this form, we're going to have a couple of fields. So let's create a new text field and call this first name. We're going to connect it to first name, and make it required. Let's create another text field, call it last name. And connect that to the last name. We're going to make it required. And finally, we'll need their email. That's already connected and required. Once all done, we can hit apply and save and close. Now that we've created a sign up form, let's connect this to a campaign. So we'll head over to campaigns. Let's click add new. We'll call this newsletter. In the campaign builder, instead of selecting a contact segment, we're gonna choose a campaign form. Let's choose the one that we just created. Once someone signs up for the newsletter, they're gonna receive an email that you can create. I call this welcome. Make sure it's marketing and click add. Now you can create and add on to this campaign as need be. Hit apply. And then save and close. You can also add that sign up form to a previous campaign. So go back to your campaigns. Let's choose the customer onboarding. We're going to edit this campaign and up in here, we're going to also add our newsletter signup form. Now two things will feed this campaign. Hit apply and then save and close. As a last step, Let's embed this form in a WordPress website. So we'll go to the form we created and click manual copy and grab this code right down here. Back in your Bluehost portal, we'll click WordPress. Let's add a new page. Add a content block called HTML. In that, we'll paste the code and now we can preview. And here's our form. After submitting, we get a thank you message. If you look back in the dashboard under contacts, we'll see the new contact. In this lesson, I'll show you how to add an asset to Modic. So in the Modic dashboard, click components and then assets and then add new. We'll be able to choose a local or remote file. For this we're just going to click local and we're going to drag our free ebook into here. Let's name the alias 101 Marketing Tips. Hit apply and then save and close. And now this asset is available for other forms. So we'll go over to the form we created earlier. And when someone adds their email address, we're going to give them a download link.
this free ebook. Hit apply, and then save and close. There are many ways to segment your audience in Modic. I like to do it using contact fields. So there's a couple steps here, but in the dashboard, click settings and then custom fields and then add new. Let's say you're a company that offers a wide range of different advice. So we'll call this relationship interest. A data type, I have yes and no labels. Now in your form, we're gonna add a new field, a checkbox group. And we're gonna label it, are you interested in relationship advice? Populate our contact field. We're going to use the label choices, the yes and no. Now the last step is in the segments. To create a segment, call relationship advice. The filter. will be the relationship interest equals yes. And now we can send them campaigns. Here I'll show you how to create an A-B test of your email variants inside of Modic. So from the dashboard, click channels and then emails. And then you're gonna select which email you wanna create a variant of. So let's choose the welcome. And in the top right here, the drop down arrow, click add a B test. Now it's going to create a variant of the welcome email. We're going to go to the builder and let's change something here. Let's try a different button color. So instead of blue, let's make this red. When you're ready, click apply. It should give us an error here saying that we need to fill in the traffic weight. Now the traffic weight is what percentage of the segment is going to receive which variant of the email. So let's make this 50 50. This variant is going to receive 50% of the traffic weight. And to choose the winner, we want to know which one will click through better. Publish the variant. And then back in here, You'll see the two variants that we have and it will show currently which one is winning. When you first connect Modic to Zapier, you might encounter a 404 authentication error. If you do get that, this is how to fix it. So when you're choosing your Modic account for the first time, it's going to ask you for your username, password, and base URL. So your username is what you use to log into Modic the password, your base URL is HTTPS, your subdomain. First, we're going to clear the cache. So in your cPanel, we're going to go to File Manager, we're going to click Public HTML, select Modic, App, and we're going to delete this folder. Once deleted, you can go back and try to connect. In this lesson, we'll talk about third-party integrations with Modic. So from the dashboard, click Settings, and then Plugins. And here we'll show a default list of the plugins that come installed with Modic. 
So we're gonna connect Zapier. Here's some of the main ones, but if you click this link, you'll see a list of everything they have to offer. As you can see, there's Eventbrite, Facebook ads, Intercom, we got Slack, Google Sheets, and LinkedIn. But for now, we're gonna choose subscribe new Google contacts to Modic. On this page, we'll choose a Google Contacts account. Let's choose my Gmail. We're gonna choose the Modic app. And what we'll do is we'll create or update a contact when someone is added to Google Contact. We're gonna choose our Modic account. And this is where we'll customize the contact. So. For the first name, we're going to select the first name in Google Contacts. The last name, select the last name. And for the email, we'll choose the emails home. Once everything is ready, we'll click Turn Zap On. This button will highlight, and everything's good to go. In this lesson, we'll set up triggers that activate based on points. So in your Monic dashboard, click Points, and we're going to start with an action. Let's call this Opens Action. What will happen is we'll add 10 points to a contact when they open an email. Make sure it's repeatable and then apply. Now we'll set up the trigger. And when a contact gets 50 points, we'll have a bunch of options. We can modify their campaign their segments, their tags, or we can send them an email. And this I like to send a hop on a call, make it a little more personalized. Now, whenever a contact hits that point value, they'll be automatically sent that trigger and we can discuss further. To install a new email template, in your Modic dashboard, hit Settings, Themes, and Choose File. Here you'll select the zip file of the theme you'd like to install. Let's go with Event Invitation. After the success notification, you can head over to your emails. Click add new and select the template email. And we'll see the new one right here. These can be edited just like the others. 